What could be more British than a classic afternoon tea? Here's my quick guide to the etiquette so we can make sure you're eating elegantly. Now the first thing is the tea. Loose leaf tea, if you know what's good for you, which means you'll need a strainer to catch the tea leaves. And when we stir our tea, we go back and forth in a delicate, gentle 612-612 motion, rather than round and round, because it will prevent splashing, looks a lot more elegant, and it dissolves any sugar we may have added a lot quicker. Now onto the food, and we start with the sandwiches. Crusts cut off, of course, and as small as possible. In a private house, these will be small squares. In a hotel, they'll be rectangular. Now, the best part of an afternoon tea, the scones. And yes, we do say scone, not scone. Now, never use a knife to cut into your scone to open it. Instead, we break it in half. When it comes to layering your scones, it really doesn't matter which way round the jam and the cream go, unless you are in the southwest of England. The Cornish insist that the cream goes last, the Devonians insist the cream goes first. The final course, if you have any room left, is the cakes and pastries. And you'll actually only get one of these in a private house. In the summer, it'll be a Victoria sponge, or in the winter, it'll be a fruit cake. You can either use your fingers, or if you want to spare sticky fingers, a small fork. Hopefully my quick guide means that you're now able to enjoy afternoon tea the correct way.